Okay. What is up, collective? Welcome to Gemini Line Gate for 888. My name is Jenna, and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys can see me. I don't know if you guys can or not, but regardless, I didn't really, I'm like in such a hurry this morning. I have to go to the dentist this morning. So this is going to be a very short reading indeed. Um, so just let you know. Again, welcome to my channel. This is a channel where I channel messages from your guys to my guys by using divination. I also work with angels on this channel. And this week, angel is Angel Daniel. Now, if you watched last or yesterday's video, I don't want you guys to get confused with Angel Daniel with the character Angel or the character Daniel from the Bible. I cannot get yesterday's reading off my mind. Um, it was interesting because I feel like there was none of the collective's energy in it and it was really hard for me to explain what that whole reading was about because it was like, I knew in my head what it was like, okay, like cause and effect. Okay. Or the law of, um. Maybe it was even the law of one is. It was crazy. There were so many people that came out on the reading yesterday. And the only way I could describe it is... Okay, if, if I'll, guess, I'll give you an example. Like, I guess... Um, okay. Say that it's like, okay, you are at your job. And you start having problems at your job due to your boss and your coworker. Okay. But your coworker is connected to a friend of you guys that don't work at your job, okay? And then your friend is somehow connected to your ex-lover. And then that ex-lover is connected to maybe someone you're related to. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's like they were all intertwined without really them knowing. Like, it was crazy. I don't know. That's the only way I could describe yesterday's reading that reading really weighed on me all day because I, I felt like I couldn't get the message out clear to you guys. Well, anyways, remember, keep in mind that these are general messages. Only take what resonates. Um, don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. But other than that, you got to place it where you need to place it. Okay. I, I know that's hard to understand. So say if I say the color blue, you might have blue eyes, but the next collective might have blue hair. You know what I'm trying to say? Use your intuition. I trust your intuition, so please trust your own intuition. Um, we also remember our energy could be past, present, and future. Um, we all have a similar story, not a familiar story. I mean, we all have a familiar story, not a similar story. Um, so just keep that in mind. I don't know why I always get dry when I'm doing these readings. It's like, maybe someone needs to put lotion on. <laughs> Every time I start the video, I need lotion. I hope that you guys can hear me. My microphone should be coming in today. Other than that, you know, we're just gonna have to wing it. We're just gonna have to wing it. Today is a wing it, a wing it video, okay? A wing it. Um. All right. I did do my spiritual bath. I meditated though, so yeah. Someone needs to put like. And I I noticed during those readings lately, I've been putting lotion on my face. I get so dry, like the minute I start reading someone's energy out there. I, I'm a lotion person. I gotta put, lo I just, I don't, I gotta be moisturized. I can't stand if I don't have lotion. So I don't know if this is a male or what, cause anyways, Angel Daniel. He's a, I really wish I could have found that website. There was one website I really liked and talked about the angels. 
This one's good though. Daniel, the guardian angel who brings comfort and consolation. If you're born between November 18th and 22nd, this is your guardian angel. So that means uh, under the signs of Sagittarius. Really? Hold on. November 18th and the 22nd is a Sagittarius. Well, yeah, because November, December, October. Yeah, so hold on. Yeah, I guess it is a Sagittarius. Um, representing the eloquence, eloquence. So eloquence, I looked it up yesterday. This is an angel that really represents the, the way you speak of something. And um, more, it's not an elegant way. Daniel has a strong power of persuasion. There it is. So that you can succeed in convincing. The natives of the garden angel Daniels are all, often well-balanced people. And they also refuse to let themselves be pushed around. Find out who you can communicate with angels and read up qualities. Okay. So let's see who he was in the Bible. Daniel's life is found in the book of Daniel, which he himself wrote. Okay. So maybe it is. After the siege of Jerusalem, the king of Babylon chose young men for noble families of Israel who were pleasant looking and able to learn to be trained this, uh, train in the science of Babylonians. After three years training, the, they would enter the service of the king. Daniel, whose name means God is my judge, and his three fellows, Judeans, were given new names. Daniel, because his became ba Balzar. Well, okay, so anyways, Daniel and his friends were proved to be the best students in the group. So upon completion of their training, they entered the service of the king. Daniel's first step of faith was his refusal to share by his friends to eat the food and drink wine served by the king's table, which they consider unclean and prefer to become a vegetarian. As the health improved, they were allowed to continue this diet. Their education touched on all Babylon Babylonian science, and Daniel was... Also given the ability to interpret dreams and vision by God. Will improve the you will improve your electorate and ease the front of audience. So you must be getting ready to speak in front of people. Um or you are speaking in front of people. Um today we live in an age where um social media is a big thing like Facebook, and a lot of people use their social media to get their points across. I'm speaking, though, to someone that is, the way you speak is somewhat of a port, like, there's, I'm not going to lie, okay, I'll, I'll be truthful with you. There's some people that push shit out there that is just, is stupid. Like, I, I block a lot of people on my Facebook for that reason. I get so annoyed because it is... Not only the the stuff that they say, it's like, okay, like, I don't like how people will be like, oh, well, bitches get snitches, or the, it's like, the way sometimes people talk on social media, like, talking shit is not convincing. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You're not a badass, and like, they use social media because, I'm telling you right now, these people in real life, they would crumble in the energy of someone that can debate with them, someone that has their facts, someone that is knowledgeable, they would crumble. All they would have is, fuck you, bitch. That's all they would have in their vocabulary, in their comebacks, is, oh, that bitch is lame, or, you know, what? Like, it's just stupid. It's, it, to me, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I will block people like that so quick. It's not even funny. And I, I will use that word loosely. It's stupid. Um, you know, it's contradicting too. You got people out there that they're like, oh, I'm the favor of God and I'm the chosen one and I, you know, I'm spiritual, but yet they're doing everything that's not representing that image. So I took a class, I went to, um, a career, uh, like a career fair seminar 
and um, the other day and it was all about selling and marketing yourself and as bad as that sounds but it, it's like it, like especially if you're gonna be not only in your jobs or at job interviews but I took it as like on my YouTube channel as well you have to brand yourself okay and it comes and like remember when you're selling yourself all right an image a brand of yourself you have to speak in an eloquence way you have to there's no there's no it ands if or buts about it if not you're gonna give the public a, a bad image of you because people that actually have worth a brain they're not gonna listen to it the only people that are going to listen to people that gossip and talk shit and just talk nonsense are people that are gullible and impressionable and followers they're not gonna be getting a collective of leaders the collective like you does that make sense I feel like this is what this uh, what's going on this week um so I like that I like that all right thank you for that angel Daniel angel Daniel I am ready um, I'm gonna make this a short reading. I guarantee you that lady's gonna. Every time I make an appointment with her, she's like, "Where are you?" And I'm like, yeah, "I don't know." Last time I was supposed to be there at nine thirty, it was nine. I have a feeling that she's gonna call me at eight o'clock and ask me where I'm at. But we'll see. We'll see. Daniel, Angel of Justice. Well, let's ask the pendulum. Pendulum, it's my appointment at eight o'clock. Is my dentist appointment going to be at 8 o'clock? Is it going to be at 9? Yeah, that's what I thought. But we'll see because... And it sucks because the other dentists, like, they're all... You can't come back here because of whatever reasons. On whatever reasons. Prayer for Daniel. Daniel, angel of justice. It's you to whom I call upon for the collective and myself so that you can bring us wisdom and um, e e e equanimity, equanimity. I summons you, Daniel, in order to be the vessel of worry that commits injustice. In order to not be a okay so in order to not be a vessel of worry that commits injustice and make the decisions without cause Daniel help the collective weigh up all things in the light of justice give them strength a strong tongue and the trouble free mind so that everyone recognizes the truth of what they say Ooh, through all offerings though st. Peter the matriarch and though the Holy Trinity fulfill your servant recognize that every yeah so it you have you something you're going to be speaking on this week is the truth or you did already and people are seeing it's the truth um uh, maybe you did it without realizing it and you spoke it so eloquently in a point of like it wasn't like you were being a hater you don't use that you know what i'm trying to say you're speaking the truth about something this week and if some of you guys it has maybe it may be in a court case you're speaking up on the injustice. I get, I'm feeling that maybe some of you guys speak upon things like on your Facebook. Maybe you guys are just, um, something you do for your job is to convince people. I'm talk I, I know I'm talking to someone here that is really smart because you guys um, someone always their third house sixth house mercury energy is always out let's see I got the sixth house right here in the red someone's trying to attack your guys's fifth house what you do for pleasure like what you do for a project what you do for a hobby what you do for fun or someone just doesn't want you to have fun they want you to be pleasurable but the sixth house tells me you're mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually healthy. And you're cleansing your energy from that. This could be a Leo that's doing this. 
And there's a Leo involved. There's a Taurus energy. The second house here. This has to do with finances, material possessions. So it goes six. Or goes the second house to the fifth house. Five, six, seven. Libra energy. There could be a Libra involved. Or I'm talking to a Libra. Or someone has Libra in their chart. Moon rising. This could do with the seventh house. Someone's relationship. Marriage. Okay. Eleventh house. I also got Aquarius energy. This could do with a group of people, social group. You could be a humanitarian. You know, this could be a group of friends. Six, seven, eight. I got Scorpio energy. So there has, there's a shift. There's something ending here for a rebirth. Four of Cups, someone feels very, like, disinterest. Where's Justice? Damn, Justice came out right away. Justice. With the Ace of Swords to the Eight of Cups. See, you are speaking the truth here. Look at Justice. Ace of Swords, look at The truth is being told in a fair way. Balance. Honesty. Fairness. The truth and people are walking away. Where's Daniel? Someone that is not a person of status, a gold digger, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, Queen of Swords. Here you, Queen of Swords, you're coming out speaking the truth about a narcissist who's now in regret about a wish fulfillment. Two of Wands. Plan setbacks to burden you because you're not bound to the devil. Capricorn energy again. You're not bound to this. Hold on. There's a bound to an ace of cups. You're not bound to ace of cups. The wheel of fortune. Page of wands. The chariot. You're moving forward. with Someone's moving forward with an offer. Knight of cups. Woohoo! Look at this. The Chariot, the Knight of Cups, to the Two of Cups. Someone is traveling to you. Soulmate. The Chariot, Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups. Someone is moving towards you. Vic yeah, with a love offer. Two of Cups. There's a third party or uh, low vibrational friends that are exposed here with the sun about blocking an offer and now they don't want to face judgment. Someone could be unhappy in a home, uh, in a home right now or they have nothing to celebrate because you're out of the five of pentacles energy and someone else didn't master uh, their craft. Someone's actually walking away from trying to master a skill here. Um, a king of swords is out here as well and a queen of swords, you're out here too. Queen of swords, King of Swords. Actually, a King of Swords also has some type of emotions for you because here you are, the High Priestess. Finds you highly intuitive, seductive, very spiritual. This King of Swords finds you. And he actually secretly adores you. So there's a betrayal here. Someone can't balance something out here because the Ten of Swords, someone's, there's people betraying each other. So they're, they're, there's no opportunities here. Someone is stuck. The Nine of Wands, they can't survive this. A hierophant, so a religious leader, a principal at a school, feels like they're very battle weary, they're paranoid, they feel excited because they're getting karma. The world in reverse. Ten of Pentacles, they lost an investment. They don't want to be investigated. They didn't do the, oh, a Queen of Wands didn't want something to be discovered. Six of Pentacles, about a gift to cause a stalemate. But they gotta let that go. Something's happening. The, the moon and the tower. Woo. There's a queen of wands and a hierophant. This queen of wands in reverse. This hierophant could be this queen of wands in reverse. There's like a religious people here that are hitting a tower in the moon. The moon and the tower. That's, that's fucked up energy right there. Seriously, I'm just looking for Daniel. <laughs> here you are, king of wands. So I have the seven of wands in reverse 
Someone cannot block Daniel, King of Wands. The Three of Pentacles in reverse to come in and not collaborate with you. So the Seven of Wands talks about a blockage or... And he, he was on the upright. Look, King... Here he is, Daniel. He's on the upright. Seven of Wands. So someone is not either... Someone is not protected by... There could be a Sagittarius involved that is not protected by this angel anymore because of the shit that they're saying. Um, look at King of Wands right before it came out. Seven of Wands. Someone feels like they can't block King this King of Wands. Daniel, they can't block you. You are this King of Wands. You're coming out create. This is why someone wants to attack your fifth house. You could be a Leo. You got Leo in your chart. You, it's just like you're coming, female or male, you're coming out creative, um, an entrepreneur, um, a natural born leader. And you get, you are, because the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, they are actually connected to the divine. That's why if you look on the, the tarot cards, they're actually, there's the sunflower right there. They're the, out of all the kings and queens, they're the most connected to, to God or to, the, you know, they understand universal laws. And someone cannot block a king of wands because he's not collaborating with people anymore. Or he's not communicating or he's not listening to communication. I really hope that lady does not call me at 8 o'clock and is like, where are you? I'll be very mad. What's going to be the energy? What's going to be the color of this week? So I don't know what color he is. Let's see first. Hold on. Let's get the the auras this week and then I'll look up what color King uh, Daniel is what aura he is this is the first time i ever had an angel that's representing a court card so it's interesting because the courts talk about a person now if you just want to talk about the energy the energy is that you are coming out as a leader this week you mean what you say you know what you're saying and people probably even like what you're saying and there's a group of people here that are not even working well with each other um, and they feel like they can't block you. They can feel very offended by what you're saying, but I don't think you do the shit. You do not care. You're coming out here with your spare, your scepter. You're like, I don't care. I'm speaking the truth. You gotta remember the first card that was out was Justice and uh, the Ace of Swords. That is, you're speaking the truth in a court case. And someone's probably shaking in their boots there. You're speaking the truth about a court case. You're speaking the truth about making things fair. I hope you guys can hear me. We'll see how this reading goes, but we'll just keep moseying along and see, okay? I'm all nervous about my, cause that woman, the secretary, she's always getting the, it's like, I don't know why she doesn't just give me a card. Seven of Wands. <sighs> seven of Wands. What's this Seven of Wands? Did you guys think I should wear this hat or should I wear the other hat? Should I wear this hat? <laughs> I wear hats everywhere. Or should I wear this hat? Which one? This one? I'm thinking this one. I usually wear that hat when I'm working at working outside. Okay, holy script. I really feel like I say I'm, I'm talking to someone. Well, that's the way, that's how you're supposed to do these readings. You're supposed to really like feel people's energies. 
but I could take it off for now. When I was meditating this morning though, I, I was thinking, some of you guys, if you guys are speaking on your Facebook, so you know what I do on my Facebook? I um, use, um, what is it called? Um, I go to chat one. So my cousin, if you're watching this, hey cousin, thank you for the advice. She gave me advice to use a, um, the intelligent things, the Grammarly, you know, Grammarly uh, for my Facebook posts so I could speak more eloquent, eloquence, right? Um, there's a, um, uh, so somebody, so if you guys are planning on being like a public speaker, I suggest you do something like that. I, uh, started on Grammarly, but I recently been using, I think it's called chat GP or chat something. And when you're on your Facebook, all you have to do is, and once you sign up for it and it's free, you just have to highlight your paragraph and it comes up and it, you can, it helps you, um, correct your grammar. Because like my cousin said, I hope you're watching this, I love you. Um, she told me, because she's a very brilliant woman, my cousin, she's very smart. And she's, um, you know, she helps or big organizations. She's a businesswoman. She's a business. She's about business. And she told me that, you know, like, like she's trying to help me get people, like a, a collective of people. People don't like to read things, even if they're not noticing it, if it's a miss grammar or misspelling it actually subconsciously or consciously I think she said it turns them off so if you're planning on being a public speaker really use an ATL is that what they're called of oh, the you know what I'm talking about those things okay that's for someone out there and thank you cousin for the advice if that's if you're watching this I know sometimes she watches me so love you she's my older cousin I'm my, my older cousin she's so beautiful What's the seven of wands? What's the energy of the seven of wands? Hunger in reverse. Someone cannot block your hunger, your thirst. Someone cannot block this energy. You you could be yellow. Um, you have like this gold aura, or maybe like there's like gold on the outside or on the inner side of your guys' aura. You have this hunger. And someone cannot block it. You have this thirst, this drive. The hunger talks about this hunger. A card talks about not, it's not even the drive. Okay, my dad calls it, okay, in Spanish, I don't know if you, okay, it's like a weird slang, but it's called like the ganas, the ganas, I think it's called the ganas, like the want, the ganas, the ganas, is that how somebody said it? The ganas. It's like I used to hear that when I was a little girl, and it's like, the ganas, like the want, the drive. It's a, it's a, it's a, a thirst. It's more than just, oh, I want to do that. It's I'm gonna do it. I, I, this is my per. I'm that's my purpose. I'm gonna do it, and that's what I'm gonna do, and that's what I'm gonna reach, or this is what I'm wanting to speak about, because this is what is right. This is what's you know. I'm talking about true speakers out there. I'm talking about people with the justice and the ace of swords that came out. You're you are a true speaker. That's a true speaker right there energy you speak the truth people don't like it they can't block it either because of this hunger you have for it and then you have archangel daniel out here helping you mystery everyone feels like this is a mystery it's a mystery how you're doing it it's a mystery um so archangel daniel or angel daniel could be helping you with a mystery here and what is this three of pentacles cleanse cleansing yeah someone right now is not communicating with someone or you're not communicating you do not communicate collaborate with anyone that is trying to block your hunger your drive your wants your desires Let's see what color, I'm very, I bet you he's blue. Let's see if he's purple. This is like a dark purple, but let's see what color he is. So maybe, I don't know why I'm thinking of this. You guys might be seeing the number five a lot. 
Yeah, his color is yellow. Yellow. Or a marina blue. I don't know what a, a marina blue is, but is that a marina blue? I was like, I can't tell. What's a marina blue? A marina blue. Is it like a greenish blue? A marina blue. I guess... It is kind of like that, a little bit. A marina blue, look. It is it is this color. So I got yellow, marina blue. See, that's a marina blue right there. It's a little bit lighter. But see, he is out here. What other is this color? Thank you, Angel. I like to get clarification that he's... Uh, it's so easy to talk to angels. I don't think people understand, like... They're there. They're really there. They're so easy to... S I talk to angels all the time. Every day. Even when I'm not on camera. I, just, I, I talk to angels all the time. I ask for their help, their guidance. Even before I was even a terror... When, even when I was a druggie on the streets, a homeless. I still talk to angels. They're there. They're, they're just so easy to talk to. Daniel's the guardian and protector of the major part of his roles. Support each other. Of our guardian angels in some way evolution of your future a deep blue or green yellows I'm really feeling though like this mystery card is someone else's energy I don't know what this mystery is it says, the mystery card represents the idea that it's okay to not have all the answers all the time. Embrace the various mystery of life and let things happen and unfold as they need. Surrender to the unknown. See, this is someone else's energy that you're actually cleansing. Someone doesn't understand. They want to... So you could be a type of person is like, you just speak the truth and you let it be. Like, you're not looking out for how many likes you're getting or how many views you're getting. You're just out just to speak your, the truth about it and that's it. Like that's all. There's someone here though in your guys' energy that our Angel Daniel's actually on them right now. Is they 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 want the they want the answers. They want the unknown answers here. But cleanse is a beautiful way of show, show love and appreciation for yourself and belonging in your space. It's wiping away the dust and the grime and reveals the shine underneath, bringing a sense of calm, ease, and clarity. When this card comes up, you ask yourself, what could I use a little extra cleansing? How can I give yourself a little space, a little extra love? So you did this by not collaborating with people. Or people are actually cleansing their energy from someone here. Like, this is a, a, a work environment, a group of people. They're not talking to each other. They don't, they, the minimum they tell each other is hi. There's no, there's no teamwork here. And that's how these people are cleansing their energy from whoever wanted to get this. Like, they don't let things naturally flow. The person that Daniel is protecting you. The person that want it to block your hunger but they can't who is this person angel daniel who is this person who's this person who's this person that can't is all pissed off or all i don't know if they're pissed off they're just Let's see, who is this person that the collective is going to be speaking on the truth this week? Or this coming month? Or they already did? Or what's what's going on here? Who is this person? Let's just hop into the reading. Because I, I can't spend too much time on that. 
I'm really afraid that she's gonna hit me up at eight and says, why aren't you here yet? I'm gonna be like, really, dude? Really? What's going on? Okay. Five of Swords is a, is a bully. Here it is right here. It's, <clears throat> this could be an Aquarius or it doesn't have to be. This is someone that's very combative. Desire to know, see the desire to know the accusations of wisdom. This person could accuse you of something. This person is ready to fight all the time. The Five of Swords talks about, they say it's a narcissist, but I'm very careful about using the word narcissist. I feel like this person is more like a hater. This could be like someone that's always, in, in, like you could post something and they post something after you. It's like an in, like a counteracting type of energy. Like someone that put wants to compete with you so bad. What's this energy out here? The three of pentacles again. And you're not doing it. Or there's, I'm t see the three of pentacles. There are people cleansing their energy right now because they are not they're not uh, communicating, collaborating, working with this narcissist or this bully anymore. The five of the five of swords, the three of pentacles. Yeah, there's someone here. There's a group of people at work or uh, at their church or at their people that are around them. They're not talking to this person anymore. There's no like if this person started a, a social media group and there was a bunch of people on there and they were all gun ho to do whatever, they're not doing it anymore. They're cleansing their energy from this bully. There's like... No one wants to collaborate with this person anymore. They're like, nah, I'm good. So, someone, like, people don't want to collaborate with a bully, uh, bully anymore. Someone that's too combative. Someone that was competing with you. Ooh, I'm seeing in my head. Someone's even, like, people are being kind of cold. Like, in one situation, like, if this is a work situation, there is someone being very cold towards this um, person, this Five of Swords. Like, very cold, very detached. I'm hearing they're not getting what they were expecting out of a situation, out of a job. Yeah, commitment in reverse. Binding, obstruction, contract. Someone's breaking a contract here with a bully at a job. Someone could even be wanting to leave a job here. They're not committed to this person anymore. Because I'm hearing they didn't get what they want. So whatever the situation is, there's a group of people that did not get, they're breaking a contract here with this, um, this combative individual, this hater. This is like a hater. A fucking, ew, this five of swords energy. This is a hater. Someone, they're not committed to this person. They're breaking, a, they're not bound to this person anymore. They're, bre they're breaking free from this person. With no hesitation. Decision, confusion, and worry. Blocked. Someone cannot block a contract. They can't block, they can't bind you to anything. They can't make you confused. Ooh. There's a group of people that are not confused or hesitant about this individual anymore. Again, take it for your situation. Take take what resonates. This could be at your job. This could be anywhere. There's just 
it could be up to three people. They're, they're like, they're not even hesitant anymore. They're not confused anymore. This narcissist, this, I can't say it's a narcissist. I'm not getting that. I feel like this person knows. It's like their emotions are too, like narcissists feel like they don't have no emotions. This, per, this five of swords has too much emotions, heightened emotions. They're too, they take everything so personal. They're very manipulative, though. I would say this person is manic, depression. I'm no doctor, but, you know, going to school for psychology. I feel like this person is bipolar. Like, their energy is, like, heightened. Like, this could be really bothering them that people don't want to work with them anymore. They don't want to commit, and they're not even confused about it. They're like not even, there's like, they're like, I don't want to fuck with you no more, dude. So, and so I'm hearing something in my head. I like, they're not getting what they're, what they expected. Someone could have even been offered like a position at a job and they thought it was going to be something more, <laughs> maybe get paid more or they're going to get something more out of it. And they didn't. What's influencing this um, person? The Knight of Swords, um, the Knight of Swords. So this could have been a message, some type of news that brought some type of dilemma and it came in quickly. Intellectual, intellectual richness protects fertility, for fertile women. Someone could be pregnant, you could be pregnant. Makes children respect towards their parents. <clears throat> um... So, what happened here is a message came through pretty quick and unexpectedly. It was like in and out. It was as much as, much as this, whatever this information, this um, intellectual, it was something that was smart. Gemini energy. Someone delivered a message quickly. And it really fucked up this lack of communication uh no teamwork here knight of swords what was this knight of swords what was this message about queen of wands in reverse it was about someone's jealousy someone's um insecurity someone that was very envious of you it could be this five of swords energy here she is so Either, I'm telling you right now, you either did this already or it's come, you're, you're being asked to do like, okay, again, I'm not telling you guys to go out there and attack people. That's not what this is. This is you speaking your truth about some type of injustice. So again, you know, like I said, watch your grammar, watch how you speak. Um, the way I, how I speak the truth on my Facebook is I just, I don't show no emotions or if there's emotions in it, I show like empathy and sympathy. Like I don't have no hate in my truth. Okay. As I sometimes, sometimes it's hard you when you, especially when you have strong emotions towards someone that did something unjust to you, you're not going to get anywhere in life if you're not precise in what you say and in, in a more logical, practical way. You know what I'm trying to say? Either you did this already or you're being asked to do to speak on this this person. And just again, watch your grammar, watch don't don't make it hateful. Just tell your just tell the truth. Just speak the truth, deliver the message and as as fast as you deliver it, drop it. That's what it's trying to say with this energy. Cuz the Knight of Swords talks about in and out. So as fast as you speak on this person, let it go. Or this already happened. I don't know if this is like energy that already happened or it needs to happen. Take it how it resonates for your situation. But you're being asked to speak upon, deliver a message. So it could cause some type of dilemma for this queen of wands. She's being, she needs to be outed. You could be a fortune teller. Fatalism, fortune telling. Fate. This is your fate. You could be a fortune teller. You could read tarot cards right there. Okay. 
someone could even got a message in a tarot card reading about a jealous woman. Like maybe someone, if you do YouTube channels or I don't know, maybe you do readings for someone and you actually, maybe you spoke something, someone, a fortune, a fate. Fate is here when it comes to the situation. Sweet dreams, satisfaction, comfort, lazy days. This Queen of Wands could also be getting readings on you guys. And she knows that you're sleeping well, you're resting well, you're having great days. So, or this is just a fortune teller. You, like I said, you read tarot cards and you're just having sweet dreams. Someone got the message. Someone it just something. Yeah, it's like you delivered it as quick as you delivering it. The quickest it's that. That's that. End of story. It's sharp. That's the, the night of swords energy. It's, it's witty, smart, on your toes, and that's it. It's, it doesn't linger. And that's the best way it could be when it comes to speaking the truth. Don't harp on things. Just speak it and let it go. What's going on in the... What's, um, what's hidden here? What's hidden? Eight of Wands. Someone's trying to block some type of messages. Sagittarius, someone's like, or you know what? It's that all that whoever's sending out projection, it is returning right back to them. Whoever this Queen of Wands, this could be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. She could be just very insecure. And whatever Eight of Wands, someone's like either blocking messages, you block messages, or someone is not. Doing something with messages here. What's this Eight of Wands in secret? Temperance. Angels. This is Sagittarius heavy right here. Temperance and Eight of Wands. That's a heavy Sagittarius energy. You could be a Sagittarius. This is your angel. Angel Daniel. You could be born in November. Oh. He got like right in between my teeth. There's definitely a Sagittarius here. Like a Sagittarius Scorpio? This uh, People are blocking messages. The angels are. You could be an earth angel. Temperance. It's all about balance. Regaining the favors of those one has offended. Someone was trying to block some type of message here. A message of divine, like, about angels. Like, uh, it's weird. Like, so you could, like, what I do, like, if you talk about angels, some or, like, someone's trying to block messages in secret about angels. About something that is divine. Something that is balanced. Something that is give and take. And they're trying to do this um, behind your back. What's this Eight of Wands? Homeless in reverse. What? Uh, failure, castaway, poor. Someone could have done something with messages when it, and uh, to make you homeless, but they couldn't. Ooh. Your angels are here to protect you. So if you recently got kicked out of a home, that's wild. Uh, someone is trying to hide or they're trying to block a message here about a home situation. Blocking messages of homeless. What is this? Someone can't, they can't make you homeless. Someone can't block homeless. Or someone is homeless. Eight of Swords. You could be eight, eight, eighty-eight. Could be significant. Eight of Swords in reverse. You're not trapped. You're not trapped here. Someone was trying to get you mentally trapped in your head and cause you to be homeless. 
and loneliness in reverse. Look, this person, dullness, disappointment, isolation. This person couldn't isolate you. This person couldn't cause you to lose a home, be homeless. Um, they can't block your downloads. It's like whatever they're sending to you is returning back to them. And they couldn't trap you. They couldn't trap you in a world of being lonely and homeless. Ooh, that is crazy. Someone was, someone was, at, this Queen of Wands was after you. It's came, what the fuck? Was this Queen of Wands cause the collective to be homeless? Dude, this Queen of Wands could have been going to your landlord and like was talking shit to your landlord about you. Um, this person w went to people and was like, ooh, this person went after you guys. But they couldn't make you feel lonely. They couldn't make you be homeless. Like, you could have just went into another home. And it's because you are, you're an earth angel. You're protected here. What happened in the past? What happened in the past? Give me past energy. What happened here in the past? High Priestess, here you are. You're an earth angel. You're chosen. JBBJ. I'm going to get a tattoo of that. The High Priestess. God's chosen ones. God chosen strength. God only chooses the strongest. That's what that means in he, um, he, uh, Hebrew. You're a high priestess. You're chosen. You're intuitive. You're spiritual. You're enlightened. You you get messages. That's what I'm saying. This person could not block your downloads. Someone was trying to block your downloads and trap you so you didn't get messages from the divine. That is wild. That is crazy. Someone might be into, whoever this queen of wands, she could be into like the dark arts or some shit. If not, it was just like heavy projection. Like, again, you could be a public speaker and someone is trying to block your messages, but they can't. You could definitely be a tarot card reader. You're chosen to do it though. What's this high priestess in the past? Something you knew a secret into you knew about a secret right away. A knight of pentacles, a message of money. Uh, you knew a secret. Uh, you you were secretly committed to your spiritual enlightenment here. Knight of pentacles talks about being committed. Light of understanding, acquire knowledge, and cures illness. It's very slow moving though. I feel like someone really over under or either over as underestimated you or overestimated you. Like someone did not think daydream in reverse. Friendships. This is a group of friends that were uh, optimism illusion that couldn't cause you any illusions. So a group of friends were trying to cause you illusions, a group of people, but it's like, you knew about it. You knew what was going on. You knew that these people were trying to cause you to be homeless. Like you could have been all like people. Okay. Especially if you were going through a, like a, a portal or because I went through the same shit last summer. Like I got kicked out of my home and I went through all kinds of shit. People were attacking me at the time where like you get attacked spiritually. Like if you're getting attacked in the spiritual realms, like it activates you, right? So people were attacking me, like I, I got kicked out of a house, okay? For like the most stupidest reason, like they took my door down or some shit, like that was so crazy. Um, I think they even paid the, the maintenance guy, but uh, I knew exactly what was going on. Like someone put a, a coffin nail in my house, you know? Um, I had a dog that was like, this guy told me I could have this dog and it was a husky and they told me that, um, you know, he's like, I've had this dog for like five months now and I've been feeding it and this dog obviously wants to be around you and your son. It was an old dog and he was protecting us. It was wild. Dude, this dog came out of nowhere and was just following me 
it was like an angel because angels will go into dogs, you know, and at first it wasn't eating or drinking and I got it to drink water and um, it was protecting me. Like it would chase people off my tr uh, porch and everything because people were following me, stalking me. It was crazy. And um, like, I really feel like it was a religious person that was actually paying druggies to do it. They were like gang stalking me and I was going through my uh, portal, like my first portal that I ever went through. And I was, whoo, I was getting the downloads, man. I was freaking wild. I was like, da, 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 da. but I was also then I had to like find some way to meditate and stuff because I was getting so many different downloads. It was like, it was not even just my own downloads. It was like other people's, like it was just too much. So you could have went through a time in the past where you were becoming this high priestess and you had to ground yourself. You had to be practical when it came to these illusions that these friendships were, were what this group of people were doing. These friends that were doing, it wasn't your friends. It was a group of other people, their friends. Like where are this queen of wands is and her friends were trying to cause a lot of illusions. So you had to ground yourself when it came to your your downloads that's the only way i could explain that energy that's the best example because they were attacking your home they were attacking you because they figured they could do that to you because you could have been alone Woo. Woo, woo, woo. that's crazy what is something my collective needs to be aware about this situation what is something the collective needs to be aware of Seven of Pentacles. Someone's working really hard at what? What are they really working hard at? Ten of Cups. I don't know why you need to be aware of that, but someone is working really hard on achieving a, a completion here. Or you are, or I'm talking to someone that shouldn't be watching this. You need to be aware that this high priestess, uh, is working damn hard on their Ten of Cups, on being happy. That's what these, that's what this Queen of Wands needs to be aware of. This Queen of Wands needs to realize that you are, this Seven of Pentacles talks about you are planting your seeds, you're planting the right seeds, you're, you're social, you're networking with the right people, um, and you're waiting patiently for this Ten of Cups. That's what this Queen of Wands needs to be aware of if she's watching this. This Queen of Wands in reverse. That's what something you need to be aware of is that the collective is working damn hard on this High Priestess, this Earth Angel, she's working damn hard on this. And this, look at someone wants to, there it is. Someone wants to fight and argue because you're working on your Ten of Cups. That's so crazy. Difference, dispute, quarrel. Someone does not want you to work hard on you being happy. That's so wild. That's so wild. Conflict. This is this bitch is wild. Family. And the, I was just going to say this. this is a family member. Ten of Cups, family. This is either a family or this is someone that you're related to. So you have a family member that's working really hard on causing conflict. Oh, that's what that is right there. You have a family member because you're working hard on achieving your happiness. You've got someone that you're actually related to or this is a family and I don't know, but there's a, take it how it resonates for your situation. If you know you're good with your family, then this isn't your family, but this is someone that you could have called family. This is uh, someone that, or this is a family in your immediate uh, environment. There's a family here that is committed they worked very hard on causing conflicts for you. This is what they're doing. They're working damn hard to cause conflict for you. Why? Why are they doing this? Eight of Pentacles, because they you're mastering something right now. You're you actually did though. The Eight of Pentacles tells me the Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Whatever this high priestess energy is, I don't know if you guys are doing tarot cards or learning astrology or just working on your spirituality fortune telling like I don't know but you mastered it 
You're a master high priestess. You're a master uh, earth angel. Look. Temperance, high priestess, eight of pentacles. You're a master at being enlightened, knowing what's, um, like if people, maybe you're becoming a healer, whatever it is, you're the person that, like you're skillful at it. Intellectually talent provides knowledge. See your talent at it. And that's why you can provide knowledge for it. And you have a family or someone you're related to that wants to cause conflict because this is what you are. This is what you achieved. Seven to the eight. And this is what makes you happy. And you have a distorted family member or a family that just wants to fight with it. They just want to cause nothing but conflict about it. Like someone could be like, oh, they're not an earth angel or they don't know what they're doing or uh, they don't know how to do tarot cards or their, their YouTube channel. They only get like three views of channels like what did you like? Oh, my God, this, this is just too much. These people are haters, haters. Or say that you're up. Well, whatever you do for work, you have people that talk shit like people behind your back. They're like. Oh, wow. She doesn't know what she's saying. She doesn't know what she does for our congregation. She doesn't know what... She's not a master at it. Yeah, you are. That's why you're probably the boss at your position. You could even travel. The temperance energy. You could even travel for your work. And someone is like... There's someone that talks shit about that. They don't like it. They're like, well, why did you, why did she get chosen to go and, and work over there? Why did she get chosen to be, um, in that position? Whatever. Hater. Whatever. What's the blessing here? What's the blessing? What's the blessing here? Two of Swords. Breaking the cycle. This opposing bear, bringing a victory. There's actually someone that you guys, for so, someone out there, okay? This isn't for, this is the only type it resonates. You actually got a family member that is actually upset, I feel like, that you're the generational curse breaker. Because they didn't do it. A blessing is a, a decision was not made here. About what? A page of cups in reverse. A decision wasn't made about someone being immature. So, so the blessing is that someone didn't choose um, a page of cups in reverse. Someone that's very envious. Someone that's Pisces energy. I'm a... Okay. Um... Okay, shut the door. I'm filming. Okay. Um. My mom. She's probably naked. We're not in your PJs or moo moo. Someone didn't choose someone that was very immature. That's a blessing. I don't know. A decision was not made out of immaturity. Like someone, libration. I told you, donation, pray, religion. There is someone here that says they're religious or that they're of God. Libration in reverse. Someone that's very immature, very childish. Someone that a marriage. Yeah, someone did not make a decision to marry somebody. That was very immature. Someone's not going to marry someone here. I don't know how that's a blessing. <laughs> it's so weird. These two are like backwards. I must be. Someone also try to like block a decision about religion or decision was not made about libation. 
and someone married Page of Cups, someone that they don't even like. Someone did not marry someone immature, right? Is this what this is? Someone didn't marry somebody that's not immature. Or someone didn't marry someone because they feel like they're very immature. They act like a child. So someone is actually in a stalemate here. And this person uh, feels like someone claims that they're religious and they're not. What is this? Two swords, the page of cups, marriage. The empress in reverse. There it is. It's like a mother figure or is this empress in reverse um, related to this queen of wands in reverse? So like you should, so I don't know if you were going to get married, but you should, real, I guess, feel thankful that a mother, a karmic mother could have actually blocked a marriage here. Someone could have also been trying to use a child to, to get married. I'm not going to lie. Someone could have said that they're pregnant, but they're not. Page of Cups in reverse, the Empress in reverse. Like someone was trying to use a child here to get someone to marry them, but they, they're not going to marry them. This person doesn't feel like this person is like religious enough or they're not spiritual enough. Is this Queen of Wands the same as this Empress in reverse? Is this Empress in reverse? Is this Queen of Wands their mother? So whoever this Queen of Wands in reverse, it's like their mother figure. I don't know if this is like an auntie or someone that they is older than them. She calls a stalemate here for Queen of Wands to, someone could be wanting to get married to this Queen of Wands, but this mother like caused a stalemate. Did it, I don't know, who, what's this marriage? What's this Empress in reverse, this karmic mother? What did she exactly do? Four of Wands in reverse, she caused a breakup or uh, a an, an, uh, uh, two of cups. A couple to be unhappy in a home Someone could have said, like, you weren't religious, so they couldn't marry you. So, uh, Empress in reverse, a, car a mother told someone to marry someone else. Someone that's very immature. Very... So, whoever this Empress in reverse, they told someone to not choose you due to like religious or spiritual like due to libration either you were too religious or this person is religious and they told them to choose this queen of wands that's very immature very childlike could like throw fits like a child like this is a person that doesn't work and now someone is married to someone here huh So I don't know. Just, I guess be happy because someone got married to somebody else here. And they're very unhappy in this marriage. Like, there's nothing to celebrate about this Two of Cups. Because a karmic mother really caused a stale, made a decision here for someone else. I don't know why that's a blessing, but it's a blessing. There could even been a karmic mother that's like even said, don't, who cares about the child? So relax about it. Like, don't worry if, be calm. 
parenthood because someone does not care about someone. Parenthood. There's a parent here that cannot stand. This karmic mother cannot stand how peace and calm you are. Your inner peace and peace, relaxation, because they really cause a stalemate to have someone marry someone else. That's a blessing. Well, you don't want to be married to someone that has a, an, a karmic mother and then had their son go marry a queen of wands. Like, that's ridiculous. Why would you want your son to be with someone that's very childish? Why would you want your son to not take care of their own child? That is so weird. But if you're wondering, listen, this two of cups, they're not happy in a relationship. But like, someone is unhappy in a marriage. They could be staying with a karmic and their mother or grandmother and they're fucking like miserable they feel like um this person that they're with is a, like a child like an idiot i hate to say it like that but someone is like looks at someone like they're like you're a fucking idiot <laughs> i don't know why that came out like that it's because this queen of wands is blocking someone from seeing their own child very jealous Ooh, very jealous very envious very hateful whoever this queen of wands and this karmic mother figure is they're very hateful that's all right what's the next step what's the next step here page of swords uh someone's gonna be slandering you gossiping about you why the hierophant Oh, no. Someone is gossiping about a hierophant. This is like a religious leader. Someone that runs a, a collective of people. This could be a principal at a school. Uh, this person is asking for some type of divine forgiveness. Obtains friendship and favors of the great. So, there's a lot of gossip, slandering, either about this hierophant or this hierophant is... Is this Hierophant gossiping and slandering the collective? There's a lot of gossip about this Hierophant. This could be a lot of gossip about a marriage. What goes around comes around. What's this Hierophant? nine of pentacles she's definitely a woman of status and people are gossiping about her why six of swords people are walking away from her people are like turning their back on this person why the moon because something's been revealed Scorpio, Pisces energy, Cancer, or it could be uh, Scorpio, Pisces. So a lot is being revealed about this Hierophant, a woman of status. People are walking away because something, she, it's like she's exposed. All her manipulations, all secrets are revealed about this person. This Hierophant. Now people are gossiping about her. She's losing money, savings. Um, a robbery. Oh, she tried to block or she tried to steal your savings out of her ego. A third will is being revealed. Ooh. So the secret is she was in a third will. She was in a third party. Whoever this higher friend is, it's a female, huh? So this Hierophant, people are gossiping about her third her third party. She was in a third party. And she was trying to steal some type of, or she was trying to block or rob your savings out of her ego. And a third will is actually walking away from her. Oh, someone does not want to be with someone anymore. And a third will. What's this third will situation? This third party. That's a secret. What's the third party? This Hierophant put someone in a third party. 
a knight of cups instead someone is actually going to follow their heart desire towards where ten of wands this burden someone someone has a very burden um offering a, a cup of love to who to sun leo energy a king of swords in reverse so king of swords in reverse Really wants to follow his heart desire, but he's very shameful, very, like, burdened. He feels very exposed. He wants to be happy. He was in a third will, third party. Someone followed the heart desire. Justice in reverse. Something about the a gift. The Someone, a uh, justice in reverse, an adventure. A coach. Someone could be a coach, like a teacher. This person is doesn't want to live in a nightmare anymore. They know a lot of injustice that was happened to you, and they want to come, and they're going to set on an adventure to give you a gift. Um, this person comes with a heavy heart. This could be someone coming and apologizing to you about what happened to you in a third will. I don't think this is your third will, like, this Hierophant put someone in a third will. She could be married to somebody else. And um, secrets are out now about that. That's the next step. Secrets are revealed. And whoever that third will is, they're actually going to come and apologize to you. Because they feel so burdened. They feel very worrisome. And they want to be happy. That's their goal. Is They want to feel happy again. And maybe something about your... Whoever this King of Swords in reverse, they could have been very detached from you. Very uh, manipulative. They, they were in a third will with this Hierophant. Am I right? He could be a coach, a teacher. Is this a King of Swords like a coach or a teacher? He's a mentor. And there's something about your energy that makes this person so happy. It's kind of sweet, but he's an asshole. He doesn't want to be burdened by a third will anymore. He was actually in a relationship with someone that's in a marriage. So whoever this king of swords is, he was a third will with someone that was actually married. But he actually has emotions for you. And he's going to come with an apology, uh, an offer, a knight of cups, uh, cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, and he comes with a lot because he's had enough. He wants to feel your energy again. He wants to feel happy around you. You could have made him really happy. So, anyways, that's the next step. Is um, someone's, now that uh, a third will, a third party is exposed, the secrets are out, someone's actually walking away from a higher friend, from someone that's already married. And that person's actually going to come and offer you some type of emotions. But what, bothers, what worries me is, okay, this Knight of Swords in reverse, is he going to come and, is he going to at least come and be a little bit? How is this Knight of Swords in reverse going to come to the collective? He's not going to come, Five of Wands, he's not going to fight with you. He doesn't want to argue with you in reverse, Five of Wands in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. Oh, he's done with the Queen of Cups in reverse. That's the person he was with. He was with a, a water sign. He's done, like, uh, putting you in a competition with a water sign or compete, like, he's done fighting Whatever this Queen of Cups is, is Pisces, is Cancer. He's done fighting. He's done, like, arguing with this person. He's not, if the, like, this is not his confrontation anymore. Like, this is her, her problems with you. Like, whoever this Queen of Cups is, is very messy, moody individual. She, this is the one that was in a marriage with someone. He doesn't want the drama. How's he coming? 
Yeah, he feels like um, this person is a coward. How is he coming? He feels like Ace of Pentacles and that he knows that an offer was, that this person blocked an offer and he's in regret. I told you. So this Knight of Swords, this coach, this mentor, this teacher that's coming to you with this apology, he's like done with this Queen of Cups drama. This Pisces uh, Cancer, this moody, she's messy. Her energy's all messy. He feels like such a coward about um, maybe you lost a job. Maybe he blocked an offer so you couldn't get a job. Um, this guy is in so much regret, dude. He's like, his heart is heavy. His heart is very heavy about what happened. How this queen of, yeah, he's very withdrawn. There it is. He's withdrawing from a bully. He doesn't want nothing to do with this Queen of Cups anymore. Oh, he is done with her. He's like, I'm done, bitch. Preservation. He feels like there's a challenge here, though. He feels like he's uh, obscured, irritated. He feels like he's challenged by something very supernatural. Disturbance. Or there's like a sweetheart game. He knows that this person was trying to endurment resolution. There was no resolution when it came to some type of disturbance to try to block a sweetheart all for money. This Queen of Cups is trying to block something here so you don't gain some type of money. Like, you could have lost a job, block an offer. Um, this is not a sweetheart. This He feels like this person is not sweet. He feels like this person is like, look. He feels like this Queen of Cups is like that. A burden on his back. This Queen of Cups is his burden. This Queen of Cups in reverse this uh, water sign he's like uh, he doesn't want to be burdened by this person he feels like he's been carrying her he could be a, a track coach look at he could be he could run track he feels like this person is like heavy on his back and he does he's gonna he's withdrawn from this bully Everyone else sees it too. All because this bully wanted to block something from you to gain. A job, an offer, money. Ace of Pentacles, like some type of beginning of money here to help you out. So, I don't know what that is, but... Yeah, anyways, um, expect apology. Now that this truth that you said or something that's being spoken is going to cause someone to come out and apologize to you for what they did. This person is actually a coach, a mentor, or a teacher in some sort. Um, he knows um, he was in a third will with a someone that was actually married, a hierophant. That could be someone that is very religious. It could be a principal at a school or it could just represent someone being in a, in a marriage. And he's, he's had enough. He's had enough. Enough. Whatever. It, it could have been as simple as flirting at work or as simple as they actually were in an affair. And he's just walking away. That's the person I, I felt in my head that said um, he didn't gain anything out of the situation. Now, you had a Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, whoever that person was. Who's this Queen of Wands in reverse? She was doing a lot in secret. She's kind of like a whip, witchy vibe, but someone chose her out of marriage. The star, the magician in reverse. This is someone that's actually considered like a celebrity or this person knows you're the star. Aquarius energy and the, this is heavy Aquarius. The star and magician in reverse someone was sending a lot of ill will towards you queen of wands three of cups she could have uh, nine of cups justice there it is so
So, this is another situation. Whoever that Queen of Wands, okay, so you got, it's like weird. It's like you had someone that was dealing with their third party and then that, that had nothing to do with you. There was another third party that was going on in your life. Three of Cups and this person does not feel like this third party is a wish fulfillment anymore. Because they know that this, this uh, or this is a group of friends, low vibrational friends, whatever it was, they were actually really sending a lot of ill will towards you. But they're not adequate. You are. It's like you have the resources. You're the star. And this is why you're getting justice. This is why justice is out here. Page of Wands. Someone's lackluster about this. Here he is. King of Wands. Because you're speaking the truth. And a decision's being made to let go of an opportunity with the King of Pentacles. Who's actually detach detaching himself from the devil. Breaking a contract about a bad investment he made about a pro in a project and that is hitting a tower so someone over here started a project that's something else the tower and justice whoever that queen of wands is she could be like a like a fake spiritualist or There's some type of legal case going on here, or there will be a legal case, and it has to do with a project, someone that made a bad investment in a project, made a bad investment in a page of pentacles. So that's like something that they were learning. It's hitting a tower. It's coming to an end where that king of pentacles is. Someone's going to need help here. Now that all the truth is out. What's this tower? What's in this tower? Queen of Pentacles. There could be a Capricorn in this tower. That is trying to defend themselves. Against um, two of Pentacles. Trying to defend themselves. And trying to balance things out. But they can't. Because they're being exposed as a thief. A liar. A cheater that did a lot of planning in the past like the past is coming to haunt, haunt this person and a judgment that they didn't want to face about criticizing you trying to end you in a heartbreak in a breakup so this tower is a queen of pentacles a capricorn is they couldn't end you they're going through a breakup here and they're being judged even though they don't want to face judgment because of all this planning to, to, they're being exposed as a thief, a liar. They could be losing a job. They're trying to defend themselves in this tower. Whoever this, this queen, this gold digger is, this Capricorn, they can't do it. There's just too much energy now coming out. I'm going to leave it as that. It's like a group of people, okay, is going down. Here in the future. Like, the star talks about future energy. They are going down. Because now the truth is being said. This is why you're being asked to speak about something. It's going to be sent off like a domino effect of things. Uh, again, don't harp on it. Speak your truth about the injustice that happened to you and let it go. And watch how the cards will fall. And look how they're falling. Tower. Big Scorpio. Ending, death, Aquarius, to maybe even a social group of people, a social network. It's like you're being called to add, to call out these people, but in a very eloquent way. That's the reading. Call them out. It's time for you to speak your truth. That's what you need to do. Don't hold back. Just, again, say it in an eloquent way. All right? All right, bye.